Hey guys, welcome back again to Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. When we last left off, we kind of go through this labyrinth of a town with a red fog in the distance with the, with the school turned into similarly like Tartarus. And there's things yet we don't know. It seems that the group is kind of divided. Some of them combining with one another, but would they be together? Who knows? We're met with obviously Yosuke and Chie coming through together and obviously knowing a hard truth on who is around here. The one who accusively says himself that he is the true culprit of this entire case. Not only that, we see a familiar face, Adachi, who comes back for some reason but left us in a cliffhanger of it to be continued. We also see that Kanji, Yukiko, and Teddy are combined once more and heading towards the school. And now we are upon going through Naoto and Risei, seeing their ends of their point of view during the whole fiasco. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be going through today. Um, RC, you can see. Uh, <laughs> The story here, like compared to this one, like I said previously, it starts to kiss, kick off and very interesting, very linear. It's not something like this one's different than this one and that one's different than that one. <laughs> so you can definitely hear, see here that everything goes fluidly. So yeah, uh, very interesting part of the fact. Uh, I think shortly we should approach to unlocking episode P3. Uh, I know there's a lot to cover here, but uh, we definitely we could definitely go through it very quickly. We uh, Advance through it. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So like I said, uh, we now we have to go through Naruto, which uh, I don't think she reunites with anybody just yet. I think uh, the call that she ha that she had with uh, Labris may come to it. But we also have Rise, which she's on her own, and we definitely got to see what she's going through. So yeah, I think we should go first with Rise. I'm more intrigued to what she's going to do now. So yeah. Without uh, further ado, let's get right into it. Obviously, I got a voice reset as well. What is this? What's happened here? What I saw w when I finally reached Yasu Inaba Station was an early distorted building and a town that had turned into a maze. I kept, I kept walking for a while and eventually made it to the floodplain, but I didn't see any people around at all. And that feeling I have had ever since the train stopped suddenly. By the time I reached Inaba, that suspicion, that suspicion, that suspicion, yeah, that, that suspicion has changed into certainty. Exactly like the TV world. But if that's true, then I don't know what's going on. But if this is the same as the TV world, then there's something I can do. I concentrate hard and speak to the presence sleeping inside me, the way I've gotten so used to doing. Persona. Use my persona. I don't know what's going on, but I might be able to find everyone. I concentrate once again and research for, for presence. My senses slowly sharpen, and first, at first, I can only feel out what's near me, but then it extends further and further out. Eventually, my sense spread all across, all, cr all across the town, like I'm reaching my arms out wide. Re the readings I get are faint and hazy, probably because of the red fog everywhere, but I still pick up on several familiar presents. But it doesn't seem like my attempts to reach them are working. Really no use after all. Even though we have the same type of power, I wonder if things would be different if Fuka-san was doing this. Since the other day, Fuka-san saved everyone from a bad situation from much further away than I could imagine. If she were here, she could probably support her com companions even through the, this fog. To fight. I can't even give proper backup. I'm no good to anyone. Come on, Rise. My concentration breaks. And what, and what really is I, ha I had slipped into the fog. Just as I'm about to fall to my knees in despair, a strong reading I can, I can sense even without focusing appear in the uh, sky. Wh what? It's a bird. It's a plane. You hear? <laughs> you hear? Sick. <laughs> Most likely, 
<laughs> okay. Down from the sky where the loudest de decoration comes, a woman in blue? The lady descends slightly and gazes at the drumstruck look on my face with a slightly cocked head. Please excuse my raucous entrance. If I recall correctly, you are everyone's reset, the announcer of the P1 Grand Prix, no? Huh? That wasn't really me. Wait, who are you? <laughs> She's a famous Elizabeth. You know, I remember this blue clothes from the P1 Grand Prix. She's one of the one of the one with tremendous power that General Teddy was mad at, uh, calling her an intruder. I don't think she's an enemy. Granted, I have no idea who she is. Oh, pardon me. I am Elizabeth, the wandering elevator attendant who has presently totally abandoned her duties. I once presided over a certain power in a certain room, but for opaque reasons, I am brilliantly, brilliantly, no, currently on a wandering journey. You presided over power? Okay. Greatestly, exactly. Um, it feels odd to bring this up, but it was okay for you to abandon your duties? Oh? Can you explain the question? I guess I kind of abandoned my duties once, too. I ran away from where I was. Now that I'm trying to make a comeback, it's been really tough. This news of a comeback concert isn't grabbing me, either. A concert, you say? I know of such things. It is a mysterious ritual that only chosen ones can perform. Within the flood of sound that tempts me, the crowd repeats a chaotic dance to their heart's content, eventually achieving a state of rapture. Uh, it's not like that. By the way, Miss Rosette, are you sure that you should be reposing in a place like this? Huh? I have been observing this town state for some time now, and it seems this red fog has completely enveloped it. If left as is, I do believe that matters will take a turn in an unfavorable direction for you and your friends. What? Elizabeth, do you know something? Is you, Senpai? Is everyone okay? My, why are you asking me? When it comes to searching for your friends, I recall your power being uniquely suited to the task. I can't find anything in all this fog. It's no use. I see. In other words, you are grieving for your powerlessness. Electing to stand here without attempting to search for your friends on your own. <sighs> what a disappointing turn of events. I have no interest in such a dull person. Please excuse me. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. It's very cold from your part. She's right. Why was I standing around here? Why do I keep worrying so much? Everyone may, may be in trouble, but I can't move. I can think. I might even be able to help. If I can get close enough to pick up on everyone's location, until I've until I've run around so much, I can't take another step. Search as hard as I can and done everything in my power. I have no right to whine that it's no use. Elizabeth, hmm? what seems to be the matter? I have already lost interest in. No, I just wanted to thank you. I'll try doing what I can. Oh, what a horrific change of heart! Or is that heroic? Either way, it seems you have realized the potential that slumbers within you. Truly impressive. But if you were to encounter a shadow right now, your current strength would not be sufficient to fully beat the snot out of it. Huh? Which is why I have the sudden urge to test whether your resolve is truly sincere. Wait, what are you... Please, do not waste your breath as I come at you. Your fate is in the cards. <laughs> huh? What? What's this? Why is this happening? No, I need to go look for everyone. When the shadow that appears behind Elizabeth swings at its sword, a shock wave shoots forward, parting the red fog and gou gou gouging the concrete at my feet. This isn't good. At this rate, Elizabeth will wipe me out before I can find everyone. No, I'm going to protect you, Senpai, and all the others, no matter I will what. Not miss again. I hope you are prepared. Persona. The moment of truth. No way, my persona. <laughs> I'm starting to grow excited. I must say, it's been rather a long time since I last felt this exhilarated. I am going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Entering combat mode. <laughs> I'm going to stay and protect everyone. Now, show me the transformation of the potential within you. Burn it into my memory. All right. I think she's the first one. I think she's the first. Uh, um, and uh, navigation that she could that they can actually fly. Finally. Damn it. <laughs> Elizabeth is just scary. <laughs> no. Ah. No. 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 There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Don't kill me. Uh oh. It's the fucking grabs that she has. Rematch. <laughs> Come on, we're better than that. It's just Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Elizabeth is very scary. <laughs> she's very, very scary. Final. When she's able to land a combo for me. All right, so I gotta see a little bit. What, 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 why I was missing so much. Judged. Don't the grab me. No. Ah. Uh oh. What? <laughs> what was that? Was that a counter? I didn't realize that was a counter. Fuck. <laughs> she took a good chunk of my health. I I won. Truly impressive. You have indeed shown me the power of mankind's potential. Elizabeth lightly presses away the dust on her clothes from the fight and smiles at me. Why did you help me out? Help you? Hmm. I didn't even have the shiniest intention of helping you. But I didn't know that my persona could do that stuff. Isn't that why you helped me? I see. That was not my intention at all. But if you say so, then I'm starting to get the sense that it may be true. In which case, it would only be natural to demand worthy compensation for such assistance. Huh? Wait, are you asking me for money? Or perhaps your soul? Whoa, definitely not. A ticket to your comeback concert would do as well. Oh, I could probably swing that. Hmm, no. I believe I shall ask for this world's future instead. That's pretty vague. Either way, it is decided. A struggle between solitude and bonds. The two great potentials of mankind is about to begin. I have no intention of assisting either side. But neither can I dismiss the contest as irrelevant to me. You lost me there. But what you're talking about is why this town got messed up, right? Indeed. Whether your bonds will win the day, or whether that young man's solitude will emerge victorious, I am massively intrigued as to how this struggle will end. That young man... Whoa, are you talking about the culprit behind this? Dear me, I've accidentally slipped up. In any case, please look over there. Elizabeth points fast uh, past the fog uh, as if dodging her own words. Well, I'm not letting her off that easy, but she probably won't let me anything more. 
and tell me anything more. I'm a little puzzled, but I go ahead and look at where she's pointing, and then I can't help but lean forward in utter shock. Out there on the hill where Yasagami High should be is this weird huge tower. It looks like some kind of evil villain slayer. I believe that is where the final battle will take place. It seems a number of your friends are already headed that way. What will you do, Miss Rosette? I'll go too, so I can fight with them. A perfect answer. I give you a gold star. She throws an arch star with one, one hand and goes directly into an elegant bow. And she probably headed off with somewhere now. I really can't figure her out. I bid you good luck, Miss Rosette. After I see her off as she vanishes into the fog, I look I look up. I've got to get to Yasugami High. I'll help everyone this time for sure. Everyone, wait for me. And that's her hello Hello thingy. So that's a little bit short, obviously, and that kind of gives like her little story of how she got her powers. I don't. Th I, I think she reunites later. I think there's a huge gap here, so we're most likely gonna be with obviously with Naruto here, and then we go head down to a certain point. So let's go with Naruto. The town becomes a labyrinth as the clock strikes midnight. It's just like the dark hour described in those documents. I take a deep breath and check my surroundings. First, I review the situation. If I, re if I remain calm and collect as much data as I can, I should be able to put together a picture of what's going on. No one's here yet. I'd have thought someone would have come straight to Juness. For what I could tell my uh, on my own uh, on my way here, the town is utterly empty. Are you senpai and the others all right? If this phenomenon is the same as the Dark Hour, from the documents, then the only ones capable of moving about it in it are Persona users like us. But why? If this was deliberately induced, then what is was in the culprit aim in doing so? Since my call from Labyrinth was cut off, I have no idea about her safety either. Is the helicopter she and her companions were riding safe? And what's happening? Uh, what's happened to Mitsuru and her uh, and her? Retune. This is a dangerous line of thought. I'm losing my cool. I can keep my thoughts straight. I'm no detective in this state. Calm down. If I start worrying, there'll be no end to it. I take another deep breath. I know already that the red fog filling the area isn't poisonous at, f at first blush. I did consider that the enemy might be employing an airborne toxin. The whole town is covered in this stuff, and stuff, and there's no way to move about while still avoiding it. Still, it may be best to try not to breathe it in to the extent I can avoid it. Huh? Now, Tokun? Huh? That's not Chie. I'm thrown for a loop at being called out, out of the blue. I was so lost in the thought that my my re uh, reaction is slightly Chie delayed. Chie Senpai, is that you? Hmm. Uh huh. Why? Thank goodness you're safe. What about the others? How should I know? They've got nothing to do with me. A cheerful answer. The tone of which sounds like Chi Senpai's usually self, but her actual words ring a warning bell in my the in my mind. Seem untampered with. In which I take it that you are not Chi Senpai. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Little me? I'm Chi Satanaka. Though I'm a fake one. one. Based, Based on, on the real Chi. I see. So you make no effort to hide your true nature. And what are your intentions? What a foolish question even for me. The town was covered in the strange red fog shortly th after the disappearance of Mitsuru-san and her people. I, I now, ha and now a false Chie Senpai, identical to the real thing, stands before me. I have no inkling as to the enemy's goals. But it is at least apparent that they expect to fight us in order to accomplish them. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I came to fight you. Are you? Rather, is the culprit who created you the same one who seized Labrys? Or is it an accomplice of his? I want information right now. 
Even what stands out before me is an imitation. It is honestly answering me this much. I felt that it would be smarter to draw out as much information from it as possible. You really are sharp, aren't you, Naoto Kun? But who cares about any of that? Persona! What? A famous shadow takes form behind the fake G S Senpai. Impossible. As close as the fakes are, they are not the genuine article. Yet not only was this one able to summon the same persona that Chie Senpai used, it did so in the real world? What in the world is going on here? <coughs> After dodging the attack, I jump back and draw the gun the gun at my side. This is no illusion. That was a heavy strike with a considerable weight behind it. <gasps> Seems the circumstances are different from before. What sort of scheme is unfolding now? Uh oh! Solving that's supposed to be the detective's job. If you don't hurry and get ready, you'll get yourself. <laughs> so you have no intention of providing answers. Very well. <laughs> Bring on the ring. Ooh, now that's our now John. It's so convenient for us that you catch on quick. Is that General Teddy? You understand without me having to explain, right? Thanks for participating in the P1 Climax. Now then, on to Nao-chan's first round. Obviously, this is a serious battle with nowhere to run. Oh, uh, by the way, Michan and the others you're looking for were smushed and captured by me, General Teddy. In other words, if you keep winning in the tournament, you might be able to save them. <laughs> Though I had considered had to consider this as a possibility, I can't help but furrow my brow at General Teddy's words. So Miss Rose and her team were indeed captured. The shadow operatives are professionals when it comes to shadow-related matters. So if our opponent captured them so easily, then we clearly cannot afford to underestimate him. Immediately after the fake cries, red pillars appear midair. Surrounding us, they swiftly fall, embedding themselves into the ground. So this is, this is the ring this time. I can uh, sum surmise the basic surmise the basic rules. It's fair to say invisible walls stretch between the pillars, and I will not be able to proceed until the match is complete. In which case, there is only one option open to me. Seems I haven't time to waste, so I won't bother holding back. Persona! Great! That's the Nato Kun I know! That makes it even more fun crushing you! I wouldn't be so certain. You can never win against me. Well, just depending how good I am with you, Nato. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while I have played with you, so... There we go. Okay. A round of applause for both sides. I just remember how to play now to <laughs> for just that sec. Well, I guess that's enough. As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. It was strong, though I wore a brave face to imit intimidate my opponent. Had I put one foot foot wrong. It could have been me who was defeated. For some reason, I felt much more exhausted than I remember being the case when I f would fight inside the TV world. Is it because m of my opponent's abilities, or this is a setup? 
There is a mighty cracking sound at the red pillars to the four sides of me, of me shatter. I have eventually merged the victor without any problems and gained the right to proceed. As that happens, the false chase by begins to disintegrate before me, before my eyes. It must have been created by tampering with a shadow. What is that? There appear to be gains of light float up from the fr from the rapidly dissolving fake. They form a ribbon of light, drawing an arc in the air, and drift away in a particular direction as if drawn to something. Thinking back upon the battle, I believe I saw similar grains of light whenever my persona and the fix would clash. Where are they? Could they be fragments of something? <laughs> We've seen this <laughs> We've seen this image so many times. <laughs> when I follow the light with my eyes, I can s scarcely believe what I see. There's an enormous and bizarrely shaped s structure which has no place in a rural town. Or anywhere else in the is real that world. The hill where Yasogami High is. The orbs of light are gathering there. Something's off. The opponent's methods are different from Lapis' case. They're challenging us head on now. The salient aspects of this case are the red fog enveloping the real world, a giant tower atop Yasogami High, the grains of light that appear in battle, and the strange exhaustion I feel. Suddenly, uh, something pops into my mind. Those documents I obtained from public safety. One of them detailed a past case involving Mitsuru-san's team, involving a giant tower that only uh, that only appeared during a special period of time. If I recall correctly, it was called Tartarus? That aberrant tower was built to call forth something monstrous. Is it possible that... Is the culprit of this case intending to... I must ask that you not needlessly inquire further. Now is not yet the time. <gasps> Impossible. This was unlike my this is unlike my encounter with the false chase empire. I was paying close attention to oh, I was paying close attention to my surroundings. Yet this man suddenly appeared behind me as if from thin air. Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. Die. A clear voice pierced the red fog, and the next sound that reaches my ears is what seems to be a blade slicing the air. <gasps> to be continued. Oh my god. <laughs> so many to be continues. Interesting. I like how it goes to be continued. <laughs> Seemingly that... Why didn't you let me continue then? <laughs> I guess to give it like more an option like that's like a chapter So anyways, I think we should continue on from uh, For for you here We switch back to Nanta later Adachi There's no oh, I can just change back to you. Okay, so there's no doubt about it as we go down the fog filled the filled hallway we see a man very familiar with. We could hardly forget his face. No way! Why is it Dachi son? Could he be a fake? Huh? Not a fake? Oh, right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> that friendly smile, choking manner, and contemptuously nonchalant laugh. There's no doubt this is the Dachi son we know. But why? Why are you here? Oh, <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved, but someone begged me to help out. And you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh, man. That doesn't matter. Don't tell me you're working with the culprit this time, too. Ah, uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on. Aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are! You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Adachi-san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. 
So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. All the questions about what he's after or what's gonna happen to this town. I don't give a damn about any of it. What's he saying? I thought you, you lousy... Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here. Because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly, brats like you barely even think. What's that supposed to mean? Like I keep saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it can bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those persona fragments by now. <coughs> huh? Uh? <laughs> so he's gonna explain how that those fragment works. My hazy, sc scattered thoughts all come together when I hear what Adachi-san has to say. I've been vaguely watching those light particles fly up to the top of the tower, but are those what Sho was after? Could it be that the reason Sho set the rules to make us fight one-on-one -on -one was to give off more of those particles? Persona fragments, according to Adachi-san, during the constant fighting? Have we been inadvertently helping him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. Out of the blue, the distorted school building creaks with a loud noise. The jarring sound echoes in the depths of the red fog like animal, like an animal's growl. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and your friends who got caught? They might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? It means just what it sounds like. Then again... I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> Wait! <coughs> Adachi-san Adachi turns his back on us and disappears into the red fog. Yosuke tries to go after him, but he slams straight into an invisible wall that looked that looked like it hurt. I hope he's okay. It's only then that I, re that I realize we're already surrounded on all sides by red pillars. Hey. You okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much, much longer are you gonna, gonna make me wait? wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Akihiko? We turn around to see the bearer of the of the of the familiar voice. Inside the fog is a man standing as if to show off his well-developed muscles. His top is apart from a red cape. It's definitely one of Mitsuru-san's companions. Akihiko san. Welcome to the special ring. This place is truly a square jungle. It sure brings back memories. Yeah. It really takes me back. Master? Oh, I'm glad that you're safe. <laughs> As Sue tries to rush over, a short fist wises it whizzes right in front of her. Some things are obviously not right. For one thing, Akihiko-san should be captive somewhere, and for another, he would he wouldn't challenge us to a fight like this. Take Akihiko-san. Don't you all long for the tensing of muscles and the clenching of fists? It's only seconds away. Step forward, you want to see some match. Come on, you. This is your story here. Most likely, we'll definitely be changing it up. I just want to have a more reveal with you. Y Yosuke and Chia both I kind of know more. Like, they're mainly like my my primary characters. But with you, I want to try more. Damn it. 
All right. Easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting the hang with you. I gotta say, All I'm getting right, in the hang of it. Wait, where did Adachi go? I think it's no time we can go up and find Adachi. Hey, doesn't this shaking seem bad? It's been getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, looks like we don't have much time. Hey, hold on a sec. Adachi said something about persona fragments earlier. What did he mean? Last time, Sho tried to get powerful shadows by shaking us up so our personas would turn back to their original form. And this time, he's lured us into this red fog and made us fight our fakes so we can carve off persona fragments in the process. Oh, you mean those balls of light that pop out when we fight against the fakes? Probably, yeah. Sho is trying to do something with the persona fragments he's collecting. But what though? Is he gonna make a new persona for himself with them? I don't know. But all the persona fragments I saw so far were headed to the top of this tower. We might find our answers there. <sighs> trying to figure out uh, uh, for, uh, trying to figure out it now won't do any good. We're falling for the enemy's trap so far. From here on out, we going on the counterattack. We have to avoid fighting fakes as much as we can, rescue Mitsuru san's team and get to the top of the, of this tower. After we all nod to each other, we run with renewed purpose down the murky hallway. Sheesh, these hallways are too long. How far do they go? You'd think we'd have gotten to the stairs by now at least. Maybe just running down the hallways won't work. Why don't we try going into the first open room we see? I mean, this place was connected in some messed up ways during the last P1 Grand Prix. You do have a point. But there's tons of classrooms here. Should we just start with the closest one? Whoa, bingo! Oh, good job, Yosuke! Past the open door is the unmistakable view of a classroom. But on the wall inside is a set of familiar looking school stairs connected to it, like they were forced we there. still don't like this plan. We're gonna have to check every door we find from here on out. Don't worry, you can do it, Yosuke. Yeah, we'll be okay if we got Yosuke with us. What's with the blind trust in me? I don't remember you guys being such goody goodies. What are you doing, Yosuke? Come on, you better hurry up. Why isn't anyone listening to me? Don't you think it's weird that you're about to leave me behind after saying all that nice stuff? <laughs> Unless they'll be fighting. Just so Yosuke is suspected, our progress from the next floor on gets pretty t pretty rough. We don't run into any face, but we don't make much headway either. How far have we climbed? Feeling impatient, I put my hand on a nearby door and throw it open. Hey, you could. A giant guillotine-like blade which is by right before my eyes. I dodged barely, but it, but it was much too close for comfort. You dodged. Not too shabby. That voice! Why don't you hurry up and come in? I'm bored out of my skull waiting for you guys. Cautiously step into the classroom inside. You find stairs leading up and a figure blocking them, just as I thought. Labyrinth! <laughs> like you don't already know. Yeah, I'm a fake Labyrinth. So, let's see how much of your persona I can carve off, okay? You're going too far! What are you trying to do with all these persona fragments? <laughs> what do you care? Win or lose, you're all gonna die anyways. <laughs> I got nothing to tell you. Now, bring on the ring! Repellers fall from the classroom ceiling, and in their ominous glow, I can see Labra's long haired persona. For a second, I was fear I was fearing the worst, but th uh, it d this doesn't seem to be Labra's shadow. It's more like a fake Labra's created from a shadow. Whichever it is, it detaches the giant axe from its back and grips it in a metallic in its metallic hands. The fake Labra stares at us with golden eyes and takes a fighting stance. A special destroyer may only eliminate the enemy. Underestimate me. Just a scratch. Um, this time I'm going with Chie. You know, we're we're three together. I think we ha we all deserve a fight. Uh, 
Okay. Damn it. Alright, give me a chance. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, okay. This is just the AI. Uh oh. Seriously. Oh my god, she so, she has so much control. She has so much control. Damn, we're so close. <laughs> were we? <laughs> I don't see what how close we were. Let's try this again. Okay, that means no choice. Damn it. I didn't hit her. Alright. Well, at least I had a good match with Chia here. <laughs> the fake begins to melt, and there's a loud crack as, as the red pillars shatter. At the same time, the persona fragments that were carved off in the battle turn to particles of light and float into the air. She looks like she's about to chase after them, but Josuke stops her. I understand how she feels, but Josuke's right. Once they scatter, there's nothing we can do now. It's fine. We just need to hurry on ahead. We're out of time. Yeah. Still, it's so frustrating. She seems frustrated, but she agrees. I know it's hard for her to, to sit ar around idly, even though she un understands. Hey, something just crossed my mind. Personas were originally our shadows, right? Mm -hmm. What's this all about? No, oh, I was thinking about what the culprit's after. I wondered why he'd be so hell-bent on our personas. Huh? Well, think about it. There's a bunch of shadows in the TV world. So why is he so fixated on our personas? Good question. Yuskis are absolutely, absolutely right. Last time, the culprit was targeting our personas to collect our powerful shadows. But not this time. If he wanted to play it safe, he wouldn't have goaded uh, a bunch of Persona users into a fight with him. Especially since we've already got a score to settle. Besides, just because the TV world is peaceful peaceful again, doesn't mean all the shadows have gone, gone away. That's all that he wanted, he could just gather those. Really, the culprit ha was controlling shadows to make fake version of us to fight for him? But then why go through all the trouble of preparing these arenas and carving away at, at our personas? Does he want revenge for last time? I don't know. Show doesn't seem Show didn't seem to care about that. So why? There must be a reason he's targeting our personas in particular. Some reason why it can't be just any old shadows. Yes, and Chia are stumped too. We need to. We need some more. We need some more hints. We're missing some key information. Or maybe I just haven't put it together yet. A mysterious young man named Sho. Persona Fragments and Hadachi-san. No, there's still a lot left for us to find out. Slow fade means we conclude <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> I can already see it. 
45%. So now we switch back to, I think, Naoto, and that we go for chapter 8. So, yeah. Well, we're going through this pretty, pretty uh, quick, so, uh... I like, I like the flow. I like, de I definitely like the flow. Alright, show. The strike I barely dodged grazed my cheek and sliced through the air. The pain in of the initial blow which struck my back is beginning to affect my breathing. My throat constricts and I have difficulty getting, getting air into my lungs. Only by force of will do I keep from blacking out as I look toward my as asylum who now approaches me. A young man. He wears a Yasugami high you uniform. Dodged. Such a struggle you put up. You're wasting my time. Who are you? I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. I am the one who will destroy you, the Kirijo fools, and this world. Uh. So, you're the ones who captured Mitsuru-san and... Yes, I caught them off guard, just as I did with you here. It seems you're not very perceptive. Shows a really good character, I like him a lot. <laughs> so Mitsuru-san and her people have fallen into the enemy hands after all. It's hard to believe. Is this young man truly the mastermind behind these things? Your intuition is impressive. For you to discern our plan after only one battle. It's an absurd scheme. What are you trying to summon with that tower? I care that his plan is far from dreadful than what I had imagined at the start. A grotesque tower called Tartarus, which was brought forth to call upon something inhuman. What if the culprit in this case also t intends on summoning something to this world? And what if the reason our enemy makes n no move to hide the fakes? And challenges us to legitimate fights is because they need to gather something before that that plan can be achieved. Don't get me wrong. That in itself is not my objective. All I want is to grant a wish. A wish? Whose? There's no need for you to know. This isn't good. He's already close enough for his attack to reach me. I'm still suffering from his earlier strike. Minasuki's next blow will surely cost me my life. I need to buy what Whatever time I can now. Labbers and attempted to collect our personas before, but that's not the case this time. You're using Mitsurasan and her team as hostages, and you've prepared fake versions of us to fight. Hmm. There's only one reason why you'd create such elaborate imitations of us, even to the point of summoning personas and have them challenge us. You set this entire scenario up so that we wouldn't think twice about fighting. That's right. Everything was set up from the start. It's the same rules as last time. After drumming that impression into our heads, our opponents admit outright that they are fakes. And as a result, I had stopped trying to figure out the, the motivations behind their actions. Since they've taken hostage, hostages uh, and warped this town, we concluded that we had no choice but to play along. We were willing to fight without further hesitation. But I suspect Minasuki must be gaining those shining particles I saw earlier through our battles with the face. Again, your intuition is impressive. By forcing you to fight in this fog, I am carving off bits of your personas. Carving off our personas? I've said too much. It seems our guests of honor have arrived. Minasuki turns his gaze to the sky and narrows his eyes, as if looking beyond the red fog. Can the helicopter really go through here? Is it not a fake affecting the, you know, being, you know, electricity or something like that? <laughs> Simultaneously, the faint sound of a helicopter becomes ev my evident. Time with you. If the opportunity arises again, I'd like to speak with you further. With that, Ma Minazuki gracefully puts distance between us. The moment there is enough space for some to intrude between us. A shadow comes dancing down from the sky, as if awaiting that exact moment. <gasps> We're getting to the point of it to be continued! Maybe, maybe? No, I can not yet. Labrys? Don't worry now, Takun, I gotcha! Labrys, don't let your guard down. He's the one who attacked Surasan's group. This guy? 
Our guests of honor have arrived. I've been waiting for you, Shadow Operatives. Pepper stands between Manasaki and myself. Okay, okay. Pepper stands between Manasaki and myself, as if shielding me. It seems I've been spared the worst case scenario. The sound of the helicopter rotor still remains in the sky above us. It appears to be slowly descending. I strongly suspect that a plume of dust is installed into that helicopter. Oh, interesting. Okay, that works. I recall an entry of the public safety documents explaining how plume of dust would enable machinery to continue functioning, even in supernatural space times, where no other electronics would work. It's unlike me to let my mind wander into matters of parascience. Perhaps it's the relief at my life no longer being in Who peril. Are you? Why are you doing all this? Who am I? Hmm? That constant question. It's quite intriguing that a machine created for suppressing shadows would ask you. What? But first, let me see the rest of you. He has a persona! <laughs> As Minasuki keeps his eyes on Laris, a black liquid shadow rises from behind him, instantly ascending to the helicopter. This shadow, no, a persona, it's, and it means to take down the helicopter. Kenkun is here too? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Laris cries, cries out in desperation. Persona users, though they may be, they are still human. If they go down along with the helicopter they're in, they'll be grievously wounded at best. Persona. Yukari! An unfamiliar woman's voice calls out from within the helicopter. All at once, a tremendous gust of wind swirls around about the helicopter, repelling the Black Shadow's ambush at the last uh, second. Quite the persona user. However... Yukari-san, he's winding up for another one! We're getting off, Koromaru! Yes! Koromaru's here as well! Just as the whirlwind dies down, an attack or originating from within the helicopter speeds towards the Nanatsuki's persona, which, which was primed to attack again. Amazing. What a per perfectly timed maneuver. The surrounding fog lights up and as the personas crash at each other, those grains of light that Minasuki is after disperse. At the same time, three figures jump out of the helicopter and descend towards us. The whir of the helicopter's rotors increases, which I take to mean that it's flying off somewhere. So th then its objective from the start was to drop these people off here. Ah, the dream team, they're here, <laughs> yes, I look once again to the two new arrivals and the animal th and the animal that have descended upon the food court, ah, I know who they are, after all it was only a moment ago I was at Inaba Station reviewing the documents pertaining to oh, them, that was close, but now that we're here, you don't get to do whatever you want anymore, now till Shiragane, right? Are you all okay? We'll handle this. <laughs> Obviously, they are older than the pictures and documents, but the woman is Yukari Takaba, Kanboy is Kanamada, and the Snow White Shiba, f uh, following closely at Kenkun's heels, is Koromaru san. They were all involved in the incident which occurred when Mitsuru san was in high school, and though they are not officially numbered members, they are persona users on the Shadow Operatives. Emergency Suppression Unit, the Auxiliary Staff. Labrys, I'm trusting now Takum with you. Gotcha! You don't have to worry about a thing now. So you're our enemy. You won't escape now. The three of them fan out to Manasuki's left and right, readying themselves for combat. Such efficient tactical m movements, all while never dropping their guard. I wonder how often one must face death in order to become like Players them. Players have finally gathered. It's nice to meet you. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. Welcome to his world. I wanted to meet you all, especially Kirijo. You are the ones who killed his father, after all. What's he talking about? Who knows? I don't really care, either. <laughs> I have no intention of fighting you now. 
I only wished to see your faces. His world. I don't think his phrasing, phrasing catches my attention. This could be an important clue to the culprit's motives. Could Minasaki mean that he he instigated his in or this in order to avenge someone whose parent or parents were killed? Perhaps he's seeking revenge on the shadow operatives. No, that's not right. Given that they took Mitsuru-san's group hostage and some of the others here, it seems more likely that Minasaki wants revenge on Mitsuru-san and her associate from high school. I'll be heading back now. Take your time here. When Minasuki raises his hand, a different voice echoes from further in. It's a voice I know only too well. What the? What's going on? Another now tokun? Don't be deceived. That's an imitation of me. An imitation? Huh. That sounds like the kind of dirty trick they pull. Huh. Seems I'll be facing those who are participating in the Grand Prix for the first time. I hate to waste time. So let's simply begin now. Bring on the raid! My double gangers raises one hand to the sky. It means to summon the red pillars that form the arena. I'm still too badly injured to dodge this, but it can't allow us, or allow us all to be trapped here. Everyone, get away from me! Hurry! <gasps> Yukari-san, Koromaru, spread out! Yukari-san and Kenkun and Koromaru-san jump back in response to my warning sh shout. Labras, on the other hand, maintains her precision, shielding me, making no attempt at all to move. Ah, uh, I see now. Yukari-san told Labras that I'm trusting Naotokun with you, and Labras would never abandon her duties. Yukari-san and Kenkun understand that as well, and so Labras was not mentioned when Kenkun gave the order to spread out. Very efficient teamwork. I feel that I understand the secret behind the Shadow Operative's strength somewhat. So you're playing with, La with Labras. The floral red pillars that fall from the sky embedded themselves firmly into the food court floor and releases a dull light. Thank goodness. Yukari-san and the others seem to have escaped the pillars' field of influence. What's going on? We what the? Where's the culprit? What? Wait, when did he? Now that they mentioned it, I too realized for the first time that Minasuke is nowhere to be seen. Nasuki's presence is completely gone. It vanished from the area just as suddenly as it appeared behind me. Oh. <laughs> like, like I said, I'll be your opponent. Don't, don't worry. A version of myself so close to death. death. And a machine who's just joined Shadow Operas would be pretty sorry for it. So just this once, while no attacks are still allowed from outside, I'll agree to fight whoever enters the area. Well, of course. Once you pass those red pillars, invisible walls prevent anyone from being able to lie defeated in single combat. Invisible walls? <laughs> That's just ridiculous. No! <laughs> Come on, Yukari. <laughs> After all this time, you're still stupid. <laughs> Yukari san tries to take a step forward and hits her head badly on the vis invisible wall. Uh, perhaps I gave them too much credit before. It's possible that these shadow operas are, in fact, surprisingly careless. This is just like the last P1 Grand Prix. Except we're in the real world. <laughs> Hello! General Teddy here! Long time no see, Labby-chan! <gasps> oh, don't look so shocked. Let's see if I can guess what you were thinking. No! You're supposed to be my shadow! Why? Or something like that. Is that Inaba's persona user Teddy? He doesn't look like a bear to me. <laughs> he just looks like a plush mascot. Was he dressed up like that on purpose? <laughs> you there! Silence in the peanut gallery! How dare you call my bona fides into question? I'll have you know I look bear-ripping! Crap, he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> this is your last chance to push your luck like that. Chan and now Chan aren't getting out of here until you win a one-on-one -on -one fight. So, are you okay with that? Are you gonna move on without your friends? Hurry up and decide whether you're gonna enter the ring or not. Will you shut up? Fine, let's do this. I'll go in and... 
No, please move on. Huh? You can't let him provoke you. The culprit's aim is to make us fight against our doubles, thereby carving off our personas. Carve off our personas? Mitsurasan and the others are within the tower on the hill. It won't be easy, but try and avoid combat with the imitations as you rescue them. Okay, Labrys, we're leaving the rest to you. Oh, what's this? They left you behind. I guess that's the extent of this friendship we go all about. That's not true. What about it is not true? For it seems to me that the others moved on, leaving you to alone. You clearly have no understanding of the bonds between people. Yeah, what she said. They didn't ditch us. Yukari-san believes in me. So that's why she trusted me to take care of Naoto-kun. And that's why I'm gonna make sure to knock you out of the park myself. Let's go. I think this is like the first time we get to use Labrys at her full potential. So yeah. Let's be the crap out of the shadows now though. Okay, well, stop grabbing me! I have a bad. All right. What a fantastic battle! You must have gathered a good many persona fragments just from that alone. How much are we talking about? How much? Fra how, like, what's the quantity? <laughs> the other me mounts into a puddle in the center of the food court. It's a most unpleasant sight to behold. I hear a cracking sound and turn to see the red pillars that tra had trapped us shatter. The visible walls should be gone as well, but... Is it okay, Naoto-kun? We ended up fighting this thing. There was no getting around it. Our enemy has Mitsuru-san, her friends, and this town hostage. Besides, we had no means of escape. So, everything was set up perfect. Who do you think that Minazuki guy is? I don't know, but... <laughs> can't help but fall to my knees from the pain I've forgotten about. I haven't completely recovered from Minasuki's strike yet. Naoto-kun! Labrys pointedly lends me her shoulder. This may be an odd thing to say, but it's at times like this that I truly feel I made my friends. I've made friends. Not that I'd ever say such things in front of my thank senpai. Thank you, Labrys. You truly saved my life. Come on, no need to thank me. I told you it was my turn to help you guys out. But what about you, Kunanan? We inform each other of what happened what's happening happened up until this point and exchange information. Labrysine was investigating Inaba Pass where Mitsuru's son group went missing. And we're headed here after filling up on gas. While well, we spoke on the phone, midnight struck and she saw the change in the town from the air. It seemed that the red fox suddenly rose up to cover the town, and a giant tower appeared on the hill where Yasugami High is situated. In addition to y y Yukari-san, Kenkun, and Koromaru-san, there's a man in town by the name of Junpei Yori, whom they haven't yet been able to meet up with. Yeah, let's go. We've definitely seen him. <laughs> Can't wait for my Junpei boy! All told the shadow op operatives sent four people, or rather, three people and a dog. Just like I thought. Though that fake you was a tough customer. What in the world are they? 
The imitations seem to be crafted from shadows. I'm astonished that they can even copy our persona abilities. But that aside, let's hurry, Labrys. There's actually something I couldn't tell you, Kari-san, earlier. Huh? What's that? It's that young man Minazuki's true objective. He's gathering persona fragments from us in an attempt to summon something hideous. Something hideous? Indeed. He'll use the tower looming on the hill, just as Tartarus was used when Mitsuru-san and her friends were in high school. I don't know what in particular he intends to bring forth, but there's no denying that his aim is something along those lines. Really? Oh yeah, I actually felt something odd about that guy myself. Odd? In what way? Well, when I got close to him, I felt something strange. It was exactly like the feeling I get from those plumes of dusk we have as cores. Oh. Does this mean he had a plume of dusk in his possession? Not exactly. It wasn't that he had one on him. It was more like it was synced up with his heart. It felt just like ours do. Synced with his heart? Interesting. I don't understand. The plume of dusk was in in integrated into the core of Labras and her sister unit, Aegis-san. We place the role of a heart in their mechanical bodies. But that man, Minasaki, seemed to be no different from us at, at first glance. What well, could it mean that she detected the bloom of dusk in him? A faint lie that's been scattered everywhere is gathering now. And I'm starting to see the outline of, tr of the truth. But there is... there, But there are still missing pieces. If we rescue Mitsuru-san group and learn what they know, and I expect we will be able to, to re reach some sort of conclusion. Lapis looks into my face as my, as I'm lost in thought, and smiles smiles to try and cheer me up. We'll never lose. You saw us fight earlier, right? Yukari-san and ken -kun can really kick some ass. Lapis speaks with satisfaction, with a proud look on her face. It's a far cry from the Labrys I first met a few days Seems ago. Seems you've made some wonderful friends, Labrys. Huh? Oh, huh. You think it's okay for me to think of them that way? It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's how it is at the start. Once you come to realize it, though, you'll find that it turns to a warm feeling within you. Huh. Is that how it was for you, Nautokun? Who knows? Perhaps it was. I recall when I first met my senpai, and a wry smile forms in my lips. Feeling a bit embarrassed at this, I pull the brim of my hat down over my eyes. It's not just Labrys, the same is true for me, and many others I've never met. We'll go through the process to find what's precious and irreplaceable to Let's us. Let's go rendezvous with the others. To be continued. <gasps> What's this? Oh, we continue. F oh, we can play with Kanji. <gasps> but we have no. So I'm not sure at what point we'll be able to play episode Persona Three. I know for a fact it's not something that we could just go. You know. Just continue on. I'm uh, just beating the whole Persona 4 episode. I think it's just basically at the same time, so everything occurs at the same time. Just keep you on track. So that's how it na normally goes. But, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode right there. I think that was a really good, stretchy, st stretchy stuff. Just for you know, on the ep shorter episode that I kind of did today. But I think that's how I feel. Well, obviously with this game, we're like down 50% of the main story and yet it feels like a lot of things has happened. But obviously we still have the other, you know, blank, <laughs> blank on the right as well. Which we already know that's episode Persona 3 as I f remember. Uh, obviously that's how we get to play the rest of the, the rest of the roster, so. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, next episode we'll definitely be going to, I guess, with Kanji Kun. And by the looks of it, we're going to be saving already Akihiko-san. So they already, I guess they already reached to the, uh, to the school. So I think along the way, I'm not sure how everything's going to connect. Seems there's different paths. So I'm not sure about Risei. Risei, I'm not sure who she's going to meet up with. Most likely with Teddy and the rest of them, so now we see down here is like 
as you can see it's just only one way and that's basically how this is gonna end but uh, who knows I'm definitely gonna have to figure that out once we play but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next episode until then peace out